point out that Joe Seitz may laugh here. Uh, dilution is not the solution necessarily to an ineffective planning process. I would hope that council would look at itself and at our community, at our government, as being part of the problem that we face in our planning process. In prior meetings, simply put, we are requiring the planning commission to get together and do something. And making it seven people instead of five people is not going to motivate it to move forward. You're going to have energetic people, there are energetic applicants, and if council doesn't change the environment in which the planning commission operates, you're not going to get any different results. So recognize that. Um, you know, I'm, if there's something I can do, please let me know. But ultimately, it's council. Um, the, in prior meetings, I have made mention of the development that is going on around us. I've specifically, made mention of Collier Township's development because we share the same school district. So the old saw that well, they want a better school district. Well, frankly, CV is a darn good school district, and the development is happening in Collier Township that should be happening in our community. Our community is either moving forward or it's moving backwards. It is not standing still. Change is happening whether we like it or not. I would suggest that together we can make an environment for positive change. Our business community, our residential community, I'd like to point out a couple of minor things. I don't want to go on too long. One, within our business community, we have issues with parking. We are in competition with areas around us that do not charge their customers for parking. We have continued to do so. I understand that when you compare us to other neighborhoods like a Mount Lebanon, so what they do, they charge as well. They might, but their competition is different. Their environment is different. Take a look at your parking. Take a look at your tax structure. As we go into this budget season, I'm going to ask again the council look at its tax structure. Not only are our taxes approximately two to three times higher than our neighbors in Collier Township, but they are They say a, a well-balanced load can be handled. Our tax structure in some of its component pieces is not. It is an absolute disservice to both our business and our residential and our residences together. Our zoning code has been improved. We've done a great job, but there is more to be done on it. As Nina would say, we have got Mickey Mouse in our zoning code. It, it, it requires that this building at the corner of Washington and James Street should be have the same facade or the same type of material as its neighbors. This requires it essentially to be made out of privet. Now, privet may be nice. Maybe people say yes, no. But you see the kind of the kind of diversion that the conversation can take. Instead of talking about the things that are important, we talk about things that are not. On the residential side, we have a number of alleys that are being, that are the main entrance ways for their residences. We have that to the residents of Liberty Street Extension. We have that to residents on Presley. We need to do something to help those, to make those alleyways the kind of streets that you would be proud to have a house on. Because that's how those residents access their homes, especially Liberty Street Extension. I know I have perhaps not mentioned that before, but it is important. Uh, there are other items, there are other pieces. I'm hopeful that we can move forward on a number of them. There are relatively small changes that we can make <coughs> that would truly change the way we're, the direction we're headed. 
Thank you. Uh, Police Chief.